So, about two months ago, someone sent me one of these Game Mate things. I was going to buy one on eBay, but they're like $300, and I just couldn't justify it. So, someone was like, oh, hey, guess what? If you're going to reverse engineer that, I'll send you something. So, he sent, he was nice. He sent me two of these, some parts, and a couple games for it. And then I promptly designed a circuit board here. So, I have a custom Game Mate circuit board that just slots in there and then it's connected to my usual ROM emulator that I've shown off before and I have a game loaded in there so when I hit Z button there it goes it's kind of hard to see so yeah it works just fine with my ROM emulator So now that I got this working, I can poke it like I did the the other systems and figure out how it all works and then implement it on the old FPGA board right here. So now that I got this wired up, the next step will be the reverse engineering. It shouldn't take too long. I figure a day or two because it's just a frame buffer and some audio and things like that. So. I'll do a little update here in a few days and add it on. Here's development three days in after I started the project. Got my Super Nintendo controller here. Audio works fine. This is an AY38910, so that wasn't too hard. But the X scrolling seems a bit funny. It's a bit hard to play, but the controller is working. Not bad for, oh, about six or seven hours worth of work. I'll load another game really quick. So this one's 32K. That was a 64K bank switch game. This is 32K. It's their Jewel Triss clone or Columns clone, I guess you could call it. So I'll just let this one run. Yeah, that awesome music there. Then this looks fine. Like this here looks fine, but after it bottoms out, that gets all corrupt, and I don't know why. I mean, the game appears to be fully playable. Other than that, oh, I guess the. Oh, no, it isn't. These are disappearing. I wonder, I must have a RAM problem. Hmm, that's really strange. I never noticed that. I'm going to say we got a RAM problem here. Interesting in any event. So that's where I am three days in. So the next time you see this, it probably will be mostly or fully debugged. Well, I think I got it all debugged. This is like a... It's like a Chippendale Rescue Ranger ripoff. Only with not very good controls. No, nah, that's not a stolen play mechanic. Nah, nah, we came up with that all our own. <clears throat> I'm not sure how you pick them up. Nah, that's not a stolen game play ideas there. Hmm, I don't remember you dying if you fall in the original game. Maybe you do. I like that. I thought that was pretty funny. Nah, that's not the logo anymore. This is the logo.
basically a fighting game. This one's called One Million Whys, W-H-Y-S. I think it's a kind of an RPG quiz game if such a thing existed. your language a queer hand like a grasp vine whatever that is Lay down, Alice. <laughs> Peel. remember much of my biology from high school. Jeez. Nope, wasn't that. So was the tree just fuck off and say fuck you? Oh, that's the pause. Oh, it's a companion cube. Can you pick up the companion cube? Nope, it blows up. Graphics aren't too terrible on this. Huh. Is he doing smoking? Yeah, he's smoking. Smoking a pipe. Lol. Oh, that's not kid approved now, is it? Hmm. What a weird game. Eh, graphics are nice on this one. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I know you could even. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay, enough of that. This one has kind of a funny little intro. Not sure what that thing is. Is a fighting game? It's bad it's not in English. Hmm. 
that Monty Mole. No, why can't why don't I have any like mole poison or mole traps for this guy? Have an umbrella. Is that what that is? I like how this is jittering because this is a single frame buffer, so as the screen scrolls, I have to redraw this stuff. <laughs> oh, I actually, I think I hit select. I hit select. Kind of hard. Eh, enough of that one. So anyway, that's a little selection of some of the games that run on it. As far as I could tell, every game works. I may have a very slight sound issue. I think some games are actually playing samples, and I removed the DC offset on the square wave, so they're they just play silent. But that's a really easy fix. But I think that's about the only bug I can find right now. And one more. Further Adventures of Hannibal the Cat. That's kind of a funny little intro. interesting start different amount of lives level a number of passwords you get I guess those look like vacuum tubes yeah, that's kind of hard Man, you just touch anything and you die. Oh, that's it? Oh, that's no fun. In any event, that's the Game Mate Doodad. So, thanks for watching.